Let's find out if you can make something cool in Motion Poster within just 5 minutes. Hey everyone, this is Shubham Pramanik from motionrex.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this on the screen and also I'm going to explain how I am doing this and why I am doing this in a certain way. So I hope you are going to enjoy this video and without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so here you can see that I have already removed the background of the bottle image and here I have placed the seed images and according to the size and shape of the bottle so that it mimics the bottle shapes okay and after that i'm going to import all of these assets into our after effects composition all right to begin with i'll first create a background and name it as white bge okay and after that i'll just duplicate this one and i'll add a fill effect on top of that and let's select this yellow color for the background okay and name it as yellow bg and since all of you know that the width of this composition is 1920 so what i'll do i'll go to the white bg i'll press p to open up the position property and here i'm going to press zero and i'll go to the yellow bg i'll press p and i'll set it 1920 all right so what it will do it will divide this composition into two separate parts after that drag and drop your seed image all right and after that i'll select the pan behind tool and let's position the anchor point over here this is very much crucial to rotate it from outside so after that press uh, alt shift and r and to set a keyframe on the rotation i'll go 10 frames forward by pressing ctrl shift and right arrow key and there i'm going to make it negative 20 and after that i'll press ctrl shift and right arrow key three times to move forward 30 frames and there i'm going to make it let's say 80 degree and after that i'll press ctrl shift and right arrow key one more time and make it 70 degree now let's ramp preview it and let's see so i would like to uh, tell you that why i have added this so this part is basically the anticipation of this animation what is going to happen and after that we have added some overshoot now what i'll do to make this continuously looping i'll add an expression so for that i'll press alt and left arrow key and now let's type in uh, loop out and inside that i'll put in ping pong okay so that will make the animation continuously looping here you can see now that it will continuously moving like this okay looks good now after that i'm going to add the bottle image over here all right and after that i'll press r to rotate it like this way and just align it to the seed images properly i'll just parent it with our seed image okay so here you can see that it is moving with the seed image as well and now the tricky part we have to cover up the animations and so for that what i'll do i'll just duplicate the white bg and name it as mat1 <clears throat> and place this mat1 over the seed image and just set the track mat to alpha mat okay do the same thing for the yellow bg i'll press ctrl d to duplicate this one and place this one over the bottle image and set the track mat to alpha mat okay so here you can see that how it is looking perfect right amazing so this is very much cool and we can do this uh, within a couple of minutes i guess we have completed this within two or three minutes and to add a quick text animations what i'll do i'll go to the position i'll set animate and just go to position there add a opacity just like that set the opacity to zero bring the position a little bit downwards and go to the range selector set a keyframe on the offset value go 15 frames forward and make it 100 percent if you want you can go to advance and set it from character to lines okay and now let's ramp it all right looking good uh seed image i'll press u to reveal the keyframes and i'll select the keyframes and i'll press f9 to easy ease those okay and just tweak the graph editor what i'm doing over here I'll select these two points and just drag it like this select this point and drag it like this and if you want just drag this point a little bit like this okay now let's ramp preview it perfect so i hope you have learned something new today something cool that you can do within a couple of minutes and make something for your clients as well